Greetings, you curd comrades and dairy daredevils. Welcome back to the channel where our jokes are cheesy and our flight tips, well, we try to keep them breezy. Today, we're going to be talking about the P-26. It's an amazing starter airplane. It's, again, one of those reserves that you're going to get from USA right out the bat. Let's get into the fun details about the P-26. I don't know why I keep calling it the P-36. Either way, let's get into it. And here's the P-26A-34M2. And this little cheese wedge of the skies might look Gouda, but it's even better in the air. It's an amazing starter plane for you Mots and newbies out there. With this being yet another American reserve aircraft you're gonna get this right out of the gate as soon as you download war thunder now let's get into some of them gooey specs with a top speed that could outrace a speeding pizza delivery driver at 377 kilometers per hour and a climb rate they'll have you saying holy swiss we're getting high this plane is no mere cheese puff let's see how it handles in combat now with over 600 horsepower coming out of that Pratt & Whitney 134033 radial engine, this thing gets off the ground in about 170 meters, or for those of you using freedom units, about 600 feet. Now, how do we keep the P-26 flying as smooth as fondue? If you're going to be trying to do some aileron rolls, try and keep it below 260, because that's about the limit of that aileron control surface. Now, if you're trying to use that rudder, trying to get some slips in, trying to get some uh, hammerheads, try and keep it under 180. Now, if you're at war emergency power, trying to get away from the enemy and you don't want to risk blowing up your engine, keep it above 190 to keep that radiator working as well as it can. If you need to get down and away from the enemy and you're trying to get this thing to as much speed as you possibly can, Keep it below 508, because that's when stuff starts coming off the airplane. Let's start talking about the stuff that people actually care about in War Thunder. What kind of guns does this thing have? Our pea shooter's packing a 12.7 millimeter Browning that hits harder than Parmesan crust. And it's got a 7.62 millimeter sidekick that's sharper than cheddar and with ammo to spare. You'd be grading holes in these enemies in no time. They'll be looking like a block of Swiss cheese. Now just keep in mind, the P-26 is substantially less maneuverable than most biplanes in the same rank as it. It's got a turn time of 18 seconds. And if you remember from the last episode, that thing had a turn time of 13 seconds. You're not gonna outturn any of the biplanes in this rank. But with those two bombs strapped on the underside of it, we can get some boom and zoom and done. What you're going to do is you're going to climb up to some altitude and you are going to dive on your foes like a hawk on a field mouse and then peel away and just say cheese for the picture. And here's a little history for you. The pea shooter was the big cheese of the sky back in the 1930s. But like all good things, it had to age. And by World War II, it was more of a vintage collectible than a realistic fighter. So have fun with it in War Thunder. And to recap, the P-26 may be substantially faster than most of the biplanes in its rank, but it is nowhere near as maneuverable as those biplanes. So don't try and get into a turning fight with like a BF-2C or any of those German biplanes because they will get inside on you and fill you full of holes like a block of Swiss cheese. To help with a little bit of maneuverability, try to upgrade as soon as you can all of those things that make this aircraft more maneuverable. But don't forget to bring those bombs out and take out any of those big armored targets, get you some silver lions, get you grinding, get you into that next big, beautiful airplane. That's all for today's cheesy guide. If you fawn don't, want to miss any of our gouda content make sure you smash that like button subscribe and ring that bell like you're calling for seconds at the cheese buffet stay cheesy fly easy